Savvy Peace. We are life right now. <laughs> I am here in my bedroom with Glory and Love up there. Hi, Glory. You want to say hi? They just had dinner and hi, Love. I so swear, just like, oh, Love can fly now. He's going to jump on my head. You want to come over? Come on. Look what we built. We have the swing and I already attached it, so I'm going to put Glory up here. Look, Glory. You like your swing? Yeah, good girl. Good girl. And love is on my computer. Guys, look at my blinds. Love is landing into the blinds and they are all ripped apart. And there too. I'm sorry, Glory. I'm not doing anything. Yeah, stainless steel for you. You see the blinds over there? See the blinds over here? And this blinds are also all broken because this little guy flies into it. So he is. He is just a really cute little free fly baby, right? I know. And he likes to warm his butt on my computer because it's nice and warm. So he just sits always on my computer and just watch me when I work and edit right here. Okay, so my place is messy. It's just like, here's the house cage. I, I'm not doing it. She's very nervous. Laurie is a very nervous bird. I can't go fast and do fast movements because then she screams like, oh! Like really, poor thing, went through a lot her whole life, so I have to do everything really slow. Anyway, let's see who's here. Where's Hope? Oh, Hope is in the other room. He's with Angel, playing with Angel. Um, if I bring Hope over, like Hope and Little Glory, or Big Glory, they have this territorial, territorial thing going on. So Hope is in the other room right now. But look, here's the huge cage of love. Right here, he lives in here. And then Glory doesn't have a cage. Well, she has a cage, but she hates her cage and she screams in her cage. So Glory sits right now on here. She chose this spot and she sits right here and she kind of watched how love is in this cage. Um, so I don't cage Glory right now. Right? right, Glory? She's just hanging out with us. Okay, guys, so I have something to tell you, something that's really horrible and evil that this is really urgent and I didn't have time to edit or put together a video for you so I thought I would go live. Um, something happened in the free flight community and you know free flying is really dangerous and free flying is not really like... It's fun, it's very very healthy for your bird but it, there's a lot of risk and a lot of dangers for free flying. So something happened in the Netherlands and I'm right now in front of my computer I have a group called USA Parrot Free Fly Club. You can, I don't know if you can see it right here. USA Parrot. So this is basically my group that I created last year, September, for free flying parrots. And if you want to join, just join. Just hit the uh, join button. But you have to answer three questions. Otherwise, you won't get in. The first question is, do you free fly? Just if you don't free fly, says no. If you're interested, says yes. Like. And then the second question is, what is your view and perspective about free flying? And the third question is, where are you located? I just want to know like where people is from and where they're coming from. So I have this group and somebody posts something really horrible. A free flighted macaw in Netherlands got shot down by a hunter and his dogs rip it apart. It's horrible. It's sad. It's evil, evil, evil. When I saw that on Facebook yesterday, I was heartbroken and I was like crying and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening right now. So, um, oh, this guy just lost his macaw. It's a blue, blue and gold macaw with name of Rambo. And the thing is that this guy, the hunter who shot this free flying bird, didn't even get like sighted or um, like, uh, um, confronted. He got confronted, but he didn't get like, like punished for it. You know what I mean? So it's just so like, imagine you see hope flying and somebody would shoot my bird. Oh my gosh, I would be so heartbroken. This is horrible, horrible, horrible. It's something that you will never imagine how somebody can really shoot a parrot down and they are so majestic and so beautiful when they fly. And now, this is the crazy part. Oh, she wants to come down. This is the crazy part. This hunter shot this bird just because of the fun of shooting. He knew exactly it was an exotic pet, and he took out his gun, and he knew exactly, because they always fly there, and he knew exactly it belongs to somebody, 
and he shot it down. Just for the fun of shooting. This is so evil. Hi, Chloe. Do you want to come down? Yeah? Okay, come down. Do you want to be on my shoulder? Yeah? Okay, go on my shoulder. And I want just to show you, like, what this guy is posting, like, on, on Facebook. So, I don't know if you can see my screen. Um, if you go to discussion, you will see that here, Metro Ara, is his name. I don't know, guys, can you see this? Metro Ara, okay, so this is him. And it's all publicly right now. It's all on his Facebook. Hi, Lori, what are you doing? Lori wants to cuddle. She wants kisses. Sorry, you can't see the screen because Lori wants to cuddle. Oh, she wants to cuddle. Isn't she sweet? Okay, we'll cuddle later. Can we cuddle later? Okay, so I want to show you this. Um, if you go down, he's now all over the news. But I want to show you the footage, like right here, what he says. This is basically his information. Okay, I'm gonna read the translation to you guys. On December 29, 2018, at about 11 a.m. in the St. Joban 77 in Westminster, a hunter who clearly saw that a parrot um, was a ara located shot him because he felt he was allowed to shoot exotics. How evil is that, guys? Um, after that, his dogs were still tearing him up and his neck broke. He still tried to hide my ara in guilty with leaves over it, but there were witnesses and we spoke to the hunter and I asked his data ID and license, hunting license. He was going to warn his... Okay, this is just a translation because everything is in Netherlands. So basically this translation is kind of off, but it's kind of like what he's saying in Netherlands, but this is what the, um, the, the computer translation is saying. He was going to warn his Here's the, but he is probably not going to get in here because it was not an accident and it was deliberately. An educated macaque cost thousands of euros, but for me, he was worth much more and not to replace. I filed a report to the police station at Brech and really pissed me off before she wanted to make a report because she just wanted to write down a notification because they didn't know if it was a criminal offense. How crazy is that? You shoot a macaque and it's not even a criminal offense. How is it possible that someone who does not know the legislations of the hunting with a webting and hunting license can walk unpunished? I even know uh, the Yachtsüchter who thinks he can shoot an exotic. The hunter still apologized because he didn't know it was my bird, otherwise he would never have done that and said himself he was an animal lover. <laughs> How can somebody shoot an animal and say he's an animal lover? This is not going into my mind. An animal lover will never shoot an animal. And he's a hunter. Like, seriously, he's out there to kill. Hunters are out there to kill. I know, totally liar, you're right. Blue, fire, wolf, crafts and ass, you're totally right, he's a liar. He knew exactly it was his bird. My ara is, ara is like the European word for bird, or maca. My ara is specially trained to be able to free fly, a free flighted bird. And I have been doing this for almost three years, every day. Um, we had from the farmer permission to fly over the field and the hunter stood there less hundred meters from his farm away. So this was a very common location for them to fly over and over again. It wasn't a new location. This is like when I and Hope go to the park. You know, this is a location where people know him. And he had permission from the farmer who owns that land. The hunter, his name is Patrick VHD or something, knew very well that it was my parrot and just shot it out of the pleasure of shooting something down with no reason. Oh my gosh, this just gave me the chills. Let me, let me read this again. The hunter shot it for the pleasure of shooting something down and had no reason. Just out of pleasure of killing a beautiful bird off the sky. But I, when I read this yesterday, I really wanted to cry because this just goes into my heart. Like, how evil is this person? Just for the fun of killing and shooting. Um, 
According to the police research, there is no law that forbid me to fly with my ARA. Exotics of, uh, may not, but they let them fly or may not. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, uh, photos of the hunter sounds recording. He has it. He, he records the hunters and he has the sound recording. So, I want to scroll down to the page and show you the picture. This is so sad. Okay. So, he blur out the face. So, these are the hunters and these are those hunting dogs. Check this out, guys. These are his hunting dogs, and you see here, check this out. This is his bird, dead, ripped apart, shot and ripped apart. Glory, stop it. And check this out. This is horrible, guys. This is so evil, 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 evil. I have no words. When, when I saw this picture yesterday, I just want to cry. This is evil beyond evil can go. How can you do this to this beautiful bird? Like, seriously, I'm so angry about this whole situation. Um, so this guy, his name is Maitre Ara. He um, changed his profile picture to black because he's in, he's in mourning, he's in tr sadness. And I don't know what to do, but I think like this guy should be held uh, accountable. This, this hunter should be like punished. And yeah, I mean, in Europe, a, a, a ara or a makar is like $5,000. They are so expensive there. And he just shoot down a $5,000 bird. This is like crazy. This is really crazy. So, um, I don't know. Like I asked, I, I emailed him. I asked him what to do, what, what, what I can do. But I didn't get any response back because he's all over the news. This is his bird. Look at how beautiful. This is a blue and gold makar. His name is Rambo. Look at how beautiful this bird is. Isn't he amazing? Such a beautiful bird got shot down. I can't believe. He has two birds. And they would fly all over the place. Yeah, get the GoFundMe for him. That's a good idea. Also, like, look at... And his bird also had a harness around his, his belly. You know? You can clearly see a harness. Look, look at his free-flying bird. This was, I think, a day before he got shot down. This is crazy, guys. This is so crazy. This is so crazy. This is so sad. So if you go, I don't know, like, he says this has to go national wide. Like, like, um, I just share this, so if you guys can go on his profile on Facebook, Metro Era, that's his name. He's his rest in peace, Rambo, and share this like share this the shit out of it, like so that everybody's aware of this hunter. And I don't know what we can do. Maybe do a GoFundMe page or a uh, Change.org page just to get the hunter like um, reliable and accountable for his actions because he knew exactly it was a pet parrot. Like, such a pretty bird, just, yeah, he should go to jail. Daniel Hoffman, I totally agree. Ah, uh, this is, this is crazy, this is evil. Evil, evil, evil. So, I don't like hunting, I don't like hunters, I don't like to see animal get shot mm -hmm. or killed. This makes me so angry. I can't see blood, I can't see even dead animals. This is like, for me, like just gross. I can even do falconry, you know, falconry is all about hunting and the kill and the trill for like all those falcons to go out and kill little animals, like preys and stuff. I can't even do falconry, like it's all about the kill and the mm -hmm. hunt. But like free flying is not hunting, free flying is just a beautiful sport where you just fly your bird and your bird has happiness and can experience the skies. Who knows that somebody evil like that is out there just to shoot it down. Okay, Mesa. Massa drone just gave me 99 cents. Thank you for the super chat. You're, you're so sweet Yeah, and then he, he claims he's a he's an animal lover I don't think animal lover do that. He is a just an evil hater And then the worst part of all if you look at these pictures those dogs rip it apart like like Hunting dogs you see that? <laughs> Yeah, three dogs. I think this is the guy. These two are the hunters. They saw. Look at. He still has the gun in his hand. While well, they took this picture, and down there is the poor bird. Evil, evil, evil. Sad, horrendous, horrible. I have no words for this. This is just like.
crazy. It was crazy. Yeah, I don't know what to say. Alright, let's answer some questions. You guys have anything to say? Um, I love you. I love you too, Noor Sahid. Pretty bird you have. I know, Glory is so pretty. She wants to get touched. Did you saw what she did? She just ripped today the, this, this paper roll apart. <laughs> holding my computer up. <laughs> Um, I live in South. Hunting is very common and it's... Oh, oh, Laurie. Laurie wants to eat the camera. Laurie, don't eat the camera. So I want to read this. KMK Animal says, I live in the South where hunting... Is oh, where are you guys? Where's it gone? What? What's your face? Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, my Facebook. Well, I have a public Facebook and I have a private Facebook. So this is my private Facebook. My public Facebook, though, is my name, Caroline Von Petzl. Can go like it, and I have a fan page. Why is hunting a sport? Just why? I know, so sad. I hate hunting. Hunting shouldn't be a sport. It should be a banish because we have so much food. We don't need to hunt. But people just like the thrill to hunt and kill. It's all about the kill. Daniel, when this does happens? Well, the Facebook page says it happens on uh, December 28th. So today's 30th, I think, right? So two days ago. It happened two days ago. What is Love doing? Love is having his baby sounds up there. Hey, Love. He, I just fed him. <laughs> Hi, Love. You can see he has a full crop. Like right here. I have a full crop. Yeah. He's having his baby sounds. <laughs> He's so cute. And here's Glory. Laurie is more unsettled. She wants to cuddle. Do you want to cuddle? We can cuddle. We can cuddle. While we answer questions. Rest in peace, Paul Bird. I know. I know. Rest in peace. Yeah, so this was the news I wanted to share with you. It was really urgent because it needs to be shared. It needs to get out there. People need to know about it. Um, Remember, I did two videos about parachuting. There was one parrot shooter who shot the wild parrot here in California. It was a teenage boy. Um, I found it in the news that was all last year in San Diego. Um, I think he shot like over 13 parrots with a BB gun. But this is a hunter in Europe who shot a real macaw, you know, and he knew it was a pet macaw. Yeah, Daniel Hofmeyer, the dude is on the sport. Um, that's so true. Hey, Glory, what are you doing? What are you doing? I want to come now on the right side. But I don't have hand to, like, cut you on the right. Oh, you want to come over here? Oh, you want to say hi to YouTube? Say hi to YouTube, Glory. I'm looking, guys, for your questions. Oh, okay, here we go. Glory wants to feed me, and she has this love vomit that I told you about. <laughs> But I don't want your love on it. And then she gets hormonal if she does that. So, Glory, please don't feed me. No, no. This goes on like for <laughs> every day for over like 10 times. And I have to send her away because I don't want her to like regulate over me. Because A, it smells. It smells really bad. It smells like intestines. <coughs> like vomit smells. And B, like she's going to imprison me and like me more. And then she'll do it constantly. Oh. There we go. Okay. No. Go, Glory. Go. And guys, look what else Glory did. I was out today and because I did not care, look, she bit my desk. She did bit my desk. She bit the windows. She bit like all my stuff broken. <laughs> and all what you see this? This is all Glory. This is all you. You, you, you. Yeah. She's a biter. She's like chew everything apart. It's a high set. And then I gave her like what to chew. But no, she doesn't want that. You see, now she's demanding my hand because she wants to do give me her vomit. But I don't want her vomit, and then she kind of acts up if I don't want it. Glory, please don't vomit on me. Please don't do it. Okay, I have to send you away again. Come on, step up, step up, Glory. Go, 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 go feed your ball. She has a little toy ball that she can vomit on and feed it, but I don't really want her vomit. And now she's complaining that I sent her away. All right, other questions. Um, let me see. Oh, there she comes again. Do you have... Um, what? No. Don't vomit on me. 
You can come over. You can come over if you... <laughs> She's doing her thing again. You can come over if you don't vomit. Now she's screaming because she's not getting her way. <laughs> Let me vomit on you. No, please don't. Glory, don't vomit. Go, go, go feed your ball. You can feed your ball the vomit. Not me. No. No, I don't want to vomit. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Okay, so let me see what else I can say about um, Laurie destroy things and let her destroy those hunters. Yes, that's a good thing. <laughs> she can destroy those hunters. Those hunters are really, really bad. I'm just like so heartbroken about this whole situation with the bird. I don't know what to do, but please, please, please go onto this his, his Facebook page. Everything is like public and share the shit out of it. And also, um, yeah. Don't vomit on me. Don't, please. I don't want to vomit. Um, yeah, but this is really sad news. Very sad news. Okay, somebody's asking, can you see Hope? No, he's in the other room with Angel and he's kind of like sleeping. I don't want to wake him up till like dinner time and then he can play. Um, his name is, um, let me show you again. Metro Ara. I don't know. Can you see this, guys? Metro Ara, that's his name. How is love? Love is good. He's up there. He's like warm in him. It's like really warm on the computer, and he's just happy. He just ate, so he's just relaxing, having his baby cell and his full little crop, full tummy. So he's happy. Love is great. Uh, what tips do you need for new parakeets? Uh. Well, it's, if it's brand new, just like, you know, let it like get used to you in your house for a while and then um, just play with it as much as you can. Just like, um, yeah, involve that bird in your life. Like, I involve like glory in everything I do. If I leave the room, she screams. If I put her in a cage, she screams. If I close the lights, she screams. She screams with every little bit. Like, she is so intense. So intense, but a little cutie. Are you a little cutie? Are you a little cutie? Yeah. You're a little cutie. You are. Okay, so I miss Dino too. Okay. She wants to kiss me now. You know, guys, how um, this tongue feels? Like a parrot tongue from a big parrot like Glory. It feels like a dry, warm, mushy blueberry <laughs> when she put out her tongue and she kind of licked my face that's how it feels like it's so cute it's like a warm blueberry it goes over your face like that it's really cute i like it but a soft blueberry all right so um that's basically it i don't want to have this life too long on because i need to like you know go feed destiny and faith and also i need to feed hope and angel i just wanted to give you today the news about this horrible horrible hunter that shot this beautiful free flight macaw and yeah so go check it out go even um onto my free flight free flight here let me show it to you again uh this is my free flight page it's called I don't know guys, can you see this? It's called USA Parrot Free Flight Club. And my page is Dino Delory on Facebook. And if you guys want to see more of um, Glory and Love, what I'm doing right now is Dino Delory. Let me show you. So it's changing. So Dino Delory was my first bird. This was his Facebook page and then he went viral so I just kept the name. And now we have I think like over 130,000 uh, followers on Dino Delory. And I'm posting a lot of little cute little clips from Glory and Love on Dino Delory. So go check it out, follow it, like it. And also go and check out the USA Parrot Free Fly group on Facebook. Um, I post and also st stuff on there. All right, guys, I love you. Thank you for watching this. I know it was like last minute live thing, but thank you everybody who tuned in. Um, tomorrow should be a new vlog out. I need to like stop also and edit for your new video. 
and yeah so i wish you all a happy happy new year try to say stay safe don't do anything dangerous life is short make it count the last day of the year and basically i probably will see you tomorrow right glory do you want to see something you want to see something glory's so cute she loves kisses and then guys did you saw this creepy creepy sound she was making I thought she was plotting to do something. She sounded like totally possessed, like rah, 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 rah. like it was so creepy when she did that. <laughs> but now she's so cute. She's so cute. Glory is so cute. Look at that. Look at Glory. She's so smart too. Hi, Glory. Hi. Okay, no fast movements. She's a very nervous bird too. Like, if you kind of like, you know, adopt a bird, you get all the bad behaviors from the previous owner and, and also like behaviors you don't know about and you have to cope with it and try to like, like live with it because, or you have to retrain it, but it's hard to retrain a older bird but she seems really sweet but she has a lot of bad behaviors that I'm trying to get out of her like try to like repull her but but first thing first we just love on her because she had a broken lonely heart all these years and now she's in our house so try to give her as much love as possible and she is so love deprived like she doesn't really like with me, I don't catch her, so she's just like so happy. But then she like breaks stuff. <laughs> Please don't break this stuff. I was I have to replace it, and then you have to catch you, and then you start screaming, and I don't want you screaming. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, you like that. She likes kisses. Alright guys, so this was it. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Happy New Year and I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay.